Hey YouTube, this is Fix It With Visca here, and we're going to get them belt loops uh, set up. And what I like to do is take, and I already cut my um, two loops, belt loops that I want to make, and I'm going to do round one side real nice on each one of these uh, before we bend it. So. position the camera and I'll show you what I do next and the next thing I do here is just like with the holster um, I take my uh, 150 grit and And then you move on to your uh, 220. And then you yeah, move on to your, uh, I think this is 320 or, I don't remember exactly, I'll have to, Pull it out one of these times to see exactly what it is. And you just uh, get your edge on your rounded really nice before you bend it. That way you don't have to try to work around it and it, you know, your sides here, you can of course work all of these nice and easy even after you bend it but your tip here the uh, mainly from this point forward you're really not going to be able to get in there with this type of sandpaper after you bend it I mean you can but you're gonna scuff up the other parts and it just ain't gonna look that nice okay let me uh, buff these real quick, and we'll be right back. 
Well, I was going to buff it off camera, but I got such a small little buffer, I can move it anywhere, so why not? Half speed again, and just... And you can see the edge on here. Um, let's see. If I can get it to focus. Come on now. Anyways, you can you can see how shiny and nice and mirrored that is and still how dull uh, this side is and stuff, which is fine. So let me go ahead and grab my uh, heat gun and a block of wood. And we'll bend these up and uh, get to it. So, alrighty, we got the heat gun. So let's go ahead and uh, heat it up. Ah, uh, a easier way to do this, and I don't know why. Sometimes I forget, and I just heat the whole thing up and try to. You can stick this in before you start heating, so that way. You don't have to try to stick this flimsy piece of kydex in here. Um, and again, you don't want to heat it too fast because you'll start making it shiny and uh, glossy and it'll shrink. You just... And you just yeah, flip her around there, stick her in the jig, and voila, that's uh, going to be a foreign belt buckle. I'm going to go ahead and I'll do the other one, and we'll be back when I'm done with them. Alrighty, we're back here, and we got both of them formed. Um... They're formed up real nicely. The reason why I don't round off this side uh, before I bend it and everything is because I don't know how the length I'm going to want on this side for the holster. As you can see, it sticks way past. So uh, I know I'm going to be using this bottom hole on the holster, but I just don't know exactly where it is on here. I guess I could make them all the same every time or whatever, but uh, for a full-size pistol and a compact pistol, which this is a compact, and they're not, you're not going to have them in the same spot exactly, so that's why I don't do that. And uh, next thing I do is 
I position them on my holster pretty much where I want them and And I just take a look and see how it's going to look. And I like the looks of that. Um, so I'm going to measure halfway in the middle of these, like I said before. And good thing to use is this. I use this a lot for this. So we want a half of an inch. And I just make a little dot with the this uh, caliper. And I make another little dot. And I do the same on this side there. and then I'll just take my tool and measure out the middle here which is like it's supposed to be two inches and <laughs> right on the money yeah I, I couldn't have planned that well, that one's too perfect that one's two inches and let's see I didn't get that one on the money, but yeah, I just there's probably a better way of doing this, but this is the way I do it, and then I just take my punch. Punch out the um, <laughs> the other thing is I almost messed up here is I didn't these would have been off center if I would have just so since I used the punch on this one I will have to go. The exact same down. And there's that dot, and then we'll go down two inches. Almost messed up there. It happens. And there get ahead of myself and forget what I'm doing <laughs> now that I got two marks like I said just check recheck and check again and make sure you're right because you don't really want to re be remaking these <laughs> like I almost did Um, drill and we 
drill them out. And I'll be back after I drill them out. Okay, and uh, the next thing I do is I grab my Chicago screws. And since I bent my loop already, I have to have a pair of needle nose pliers to push this one in. Um, both the ones that are on the backs here. And they're kind of a pain sometimes. Just clean out that hole a little bit better. And And just push them through and like that and push the other one in and I went and put them on see that the reason why I don't round these yet or anything and you can do whatever you want from this point on if you want to um, just cut them along and make them the same shape of the holster on this side and stuff and this one needs to be ground down to fit better and I will do that off camera there's really no point in that <laughs> um, and then I'll just go ahead and mark here. And I'm just going to make these the same look at the bottom of the holster. Probably. And uh, yeah, in my next video, I'll have all this done. Um, I don't really think I need to go over that too much. Uh, next video I will make is of folding the uh, edges over a little bit, bending them. We'll have to heat them up and bend them. So uh, stay tuned for that.